We have been dealing with hot and dry weather for weeks now, and it is raising the potential for devastating wildfires. Tonight, 25 News reporter Adam Schindler has more on a fire at Fort Hood right now and what local departments are saying about these conditions. Central Texas has already seen several wildfires this year, including one that is still burning on Fort Hood. A fire that started on Monday has burned over 250 acres of wildland on Fort Hood, and as of the last update, it is 70% contained. There is not much active fire that they are seeing this morning. They do have dozers on the fire putting in contingency lines and also hand crews working around the fire's edge to increase containment. A fire that started on a small arms range on post back in March burned over 33,000 acres, making it the largest fire in Fort Hood's history. Luckily, current conditions are making this fire easier to contain. There's still some dead stuff in there carrying that, uh, that fire through the greener grass, uh, but we didn't have that that super low humidity and the high winds that we were seeing. Even though firefighters are making progress, fire departments in Bell County are concerned about the next one, especially with the extreme heat we've been experiencing. As the seasons kind of warm up and, and vegetation dries out, those grass fires are always uh, pretty prominent whenever they happen. And right now with the wind that we've got, it just makes them spread that much quicker. With conditions getting hotter and drier, a small spark can become a big problem. Welders or anybody using grinders, stuff like that, that would cause those sparks. Uh, just be mindful of their work area and make sure that they, they carry a fire extinguisher with them whenever they're out there. Fire departments are definitely on high alert as 4th of July gets closer and people begin lighting fireworks. Even though that's banned in the city, people still do that. And when those, when those uh, sparks and stuff come down from those fireworks, they can light off that dried vegetation very easily. With weather conditions right now, fire departments, including Temple Fire and Rescue, are urging anyone working outside, grilling, or lighting fireworks on 4th of July to be careful not to start a wildfire. In Temple, Adam Schindler, 25 News.